Hey y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner. Back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a great week. I've had an awesome week and I got so busy today I almost forgot to film a video. So I'm sorry it's going up late and I look a little bit of a mess, but uh, let's get started. First of all, I have noticed that YouTube is not putting my subscribed videos in my newsfeed. Uh, specifically some of my thrifting people that I watch all the time, I am not getting notifications that they have a new video. So I've gone in and I have hit the bell for all of them. I would suggest if you like these videos that you go in and hit the bell so that you know when I upload a video because for whatever reason, YouTube is, and I've heard other YouTubers say that and I'm like, mm, that doesn't sound legit, but for real, it, it's happening. So. If you like my videos and you want to make sure that you know when I upload one, I would suggest that you go in and hit the bell. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And again, I would recommend you go in and hit that bell. So if you're interested in any of these items, you can join my Facebook group. I will leave a link in the description box below. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join and then I will approve you. And then you may ask about an item. When you ask about an item, please include your state. You don't have to leave your, your zip, just your state for shipping. And then that way I can tell you the cost of the item with the shipping at the same time. The first person to give me their email address so that I may send them a PayPal address will get that item. Once you've received that invoice, you have an hour to pay. If you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also, also leave that in the description box below. All right, y'all, let's get started. First, I'll start with the things that I always start with, which is the things I'm keeping for myself and my family. This is a very small haul today. Did not get a chance to go to garage sales again this week because we had our last of four garage sales. This week, I'm gonna be up and at them early. It's not supposed to rain. All the weeks that I didn't have a garage sale, we had torrential rain and there weren't any. So, or like very few. So anyway, I'll be up and at them on Saturday morning. I hope to have a large haul for you guys. But anyway, I got this guy, paid $3.99. It's just a little top. Um, Project Social Tea by Urban Outfitters. It's really cute. Obviously needs a tank underneath it. I got rid of a bunch of stuff that I've been keeping for a long time and not wearing. And I found that I have very few shirts that I actually like. And I want to keep only things that I actually like and actually wear. So I know it seems weird that we've moved in the, to a camper and every week I've got clothes for myself. but. I'm actually trying to exchange the things that I've just been holding on to for things that I will honestly wear. This next one is like almost the exact same color as that one. And I got them at the same thrift store. Got them at Goodwill, but I don't know. Anyway, this one's long sleeved, so I may not be able to wear it till fall, but it's super duper cute. It's got, I don't know if you can tell, but the front is like a not a chiffon, but like a rayon-y kind of see-through type material. And then the back is stretchy. And this is an H&M top. And then the the uh, arms are like a T and the pocket is like a the same kind of chiffon-y type rayon -y material. What did I pay for that one? Probably $3.99 too. I think all of their shirts. Yeah, $3.99. Okay, now... Moving on to what I got to show you guys. This first thing I actually forgot to show you last week, so I thought I'd just keep it and show you guys this week. It is a collar necklace, really beautiful. I think it must be pewter. I don't think it's sterling, even though it does have a pretty good patina on it. It's marked best, but it is not marked 925, unless it's underneath, you know what? got a Goodwill tag. Maybe it's underneath the Goodwill tag. It's not underneath the Goodwill tag and I couldn't find when I would put in best jewelry. Any, I even tried putting in like stamped best jewelry. It always took it as meaning like I want to know the best jewelry. Anyway, so I'll show it to you guys. It's got a got a pattern. I'm trying to make it focus in. It's got a pattern on it. It's really thick. Really, really pretty. It's marked best. Actually, it looks good with a deep v-neck shirt like this. Next thing I got at the same Goodwill where I got my shirts, it is this equipment. And I was not familiar with this brand, but it still has 
the Neiman Marcus price tag on it. As compared to 282, they had it for sale for 139, and it was 399. And I looked this up, and this brand is apparently an extremely expensive brand. This is a gray, but it's got polka dots on it. Can you guys see? And then it's a tie, tie collar shirt. It looks like a big lump of nothing right here. But anyway, so hopefully, I my sales on Poshmark have been so slow lately, and I don't know why. But I've seen other people say that they also have been slow. And then here's the actual, like, designer tag, and it says 258 on it. So... I got is this really pretty Kate Spade wallet. It is that crisscross leather that I can't ever think of. Ah, it's the treated leather with the crisscross pattern. It is baby blue. Here's your Kate Spade. It is missing the pull tab, but it's actually inside here. It just broke off and they put it in here. I mean, I don't think you could replace it, but you could probably cut this off and hole punch it and put it back on here because the little, everything is still here. So that's what I would do. I'd cut the end of that off and put a hole punch in it. Okay, inside of this is impeccable. Looks like it's never been used. There are some issues on the outside. Hopefully you can see the lighting in here is not the best. Okay, let me see if I can get this where you guys can see it. Can you see this? It's a little bit lighter, and there is a lighter couple of spots up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see like in this area where it's a little bit lighter. You have to turn it a certain way to see that. It's, it's, this one is semi-noticeable. These guys are, they don't know, the camera's not even picking them up a few right here and then and I didn't notice this I cleaned it yesterday with leather cleaner it appears to have a little tiny dot on it oh and it's not showing up either let's see where is it can you guys see that tiny dot right there other than that it's awesome like I said hole punch that sucker and put it back on or tie like a ribbon or something. Anyway, it's a beautiful, night, really nice wallet. It looks like somebody spilled probably like um, maybe nail polish remover or something on it. But anyway, and Kate Spade is right there. And I believe that when it has the metal Kate Spade, y'all correct me if I'm not right about this. When it has the metal Kate Spade, it is, um, that means that it was not a, I'm trying to say, that it was not an outlet item. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I think that's correct. All right, you guys, that was the extent of my haul today. I want to let you guys know, though, that I have priced out, priced out, listed every single piece of jewelry that I have for sale. I think it's like 50 pieces. I'm going to sit down next week, probably Tuesday, and film that video and try to upload it on Tuesday because I have some beautiful, beautiful pieces of jewelry. And the hard part is over. It's going through it, deciding what I want to sell it for. So hopefully that video will be up Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And then Thursday, I hope to have a really large haul for you guys. Okay, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.